a gentleman by the name of Rick Down passed away today at the age of 68, very young, uh, in Las Vegas, his home. And Rick Down, for those that might not know or might not remember, was the hitting coach for the New York Yankees when Buck Showalter was the manager. And he was so important to integrating uh, the patience that Gene Michael wanted, the uh, high on base percentage. He's the one who initiated the toe tap that took Paul O'Neill from the player that he was in Cincinnati to a batting champion in New York. He was a great guy, Rick Down. He was funny, he was engaging, he knew hitting, he can converse with anybody. He had an easy, breezy way about him. He later became the hitting coach of the New York Mets. Um, just a really, really good, happy man who played such a big role in the Yankees being what the Yankees became and winning those championships. He wasn't there when Joe Torre became the manager. In fact, the Yankees wanted to get rid of Rick Down. That was one of the reasons that Buck Showalter wouldn't come back because they wanted to change the staff, and one of the guys they wanted to let go was Rick Down. Gone way too soon, uh, a tremendous guy, and, and he had one saying, and he would stand there, and, and when he was teaching hitting, he would stand there and kind of move his hips back and forth and his, his hands back or the other way from where the hips were or, you know, in, keeping in concert with it. And he would kind of, in a sing-song, he would go, if you can't dance, you can't hit. If you can't dance, you can't <laughs> hit. You got to have rhythm in order to hit. In order to hit, you got to be able to dance. If you can't dance, you can't hit. And he made him dance, and he made him hit. And I know that Wade Boggs loved working with him, and I told you he kind of turned Paul O'Neill's career around, and, Paul, you know, Buck was very loyal to him as well. So gone way too soon. Our condolences go out to his family. Rest in peace to Rick Down. Really, really a good man. And uh, gone way too soon at the age of 68.